Good evening. Thank you for joining us. I'm Alexis Padilla. We're just hours away from Inauguration Day. Governor Laura Kelly will officially start her second term. But first, the inaugural ball took place tonight in Topeka. Capitol Bureau reporter Rebecca Chung was there. She tells us more. Well, the governor, lieutenant governor, and Republican leadership took to the stage to give a toast. They're looking ahead to the next four years and sharing a message of bipartisanship heading into this year's legislative session. I mean, if people perceive us differently, not just opposites of the aisles, but opposites in many ways, and to find those opportunities to degree. So, to meeting in the middle of the road. Uh, I do want to thank legislative leadership, uh, Speaker of the House, Dan Hawkins, Senate President, Ty Masterson, Senate Minority Leader, Dinah Sykes, and House Minority Leader, Vic Miller, uh, for the lovely toasts. You know, I look forward to working with all of you uh, over the next four years on behalf of all Kansans. And the governor will be taking the stage again Monday here at the Capitol in Topeka. She will be sworn in at noon along with Lieutenant Governor David Toland. And this year's legislative session will kick off shortly after, starting at 2 p.m. For now, reporting in Topeka, I'm Rebecca Chung. Again, the 2023 legislative session starts tomorrow. Republicans control both the House and Senate by more than two thirds, giving them a super majority. Both the House and Senate will work to draft new bills to send to Governor Kelly to sign into law marijuana once again on the agenda. Of course, medical marijuana is a topic of conversation. Uh, there were recently some changes in the House with some retirements from the Senate that weren't planned. So I'm curious as to how that's going to play out. Representative Owens says he also plans to make a big push towards more volunteerism in Kansas. 